Hello and welcome. My name is Adrian Stevens, and today I'm going to show you how to add a WPF head project to a Xamarin Forms solution. Now, traditionally, when we think about Xamarin Forms, we think about iOS, Android, and Windows UWP. But as you may know, other platforms are being actively developed by both the Xamarin Forms team and the community. And this includes Linux, Mac OS, and Samsung's Tizen operating system. We also have another option for Windows, and that's WPF, or Windows Presentation Foundation. And you might be thinking, why do we need a second target, a second project type supported in Xamarin Forms for Windows? Windows UWP is fantastic. It's a modern style application. It runs in a secure environment, and it's really the ideal option for most applications when targeting Windows and Windows 10. But it does have some limitations. The first is, well, it does support Windows 10 and Windows 10 only. If you need to support older versions of Windows, you're out of luck with UWP. And that secure containerized environment means that we have less access to the system. That's great for security, but it can limit your interactions with hardware, for example. Uh, a recent project I worked on required USB access, and I wasn't able to accomplish what I needed with existing libraries in UWP. Uh, and that brings me to one other point, and that's the API surface in UWP. Again, fantastic and covers most of your needs, but it doesn't include the entire Win32 or COM API surface. So there are times where you may want to deploy a WPF application. I've opened an existing Xamarin Form solution. Uh, this is a project called DrumPad, and notice we have uh, head projects for Android, iOS, and UWP, and we also have one for Tizen. And the shared code is in a portable class library. If you were to make a new Xamarin Forum solution, you would get either a shared project or a more modern .NET standard library, but portable class libraries will work here equally as well. And let's run this on UWP and take a look at the application. And I've chosen this example for a couple of reasons. One, it has, has images, it has some, some theming. We see animations, we push the buttons, and it's running some platform-specific code, and that's the code to playback audio. So let's get started and let's add a WPF head project. I'm gonna right click on the solution. I'm gonna select add new project. In the visual C sharp section, we're gonna look for Windows Classic Desktop and then select WPF app. This is of course with the .NET framework. Let's give it a meaningful name. I'm gonna say drumpad.wpf. That's why I know what project type it is. And I'm gonna put this in a subfolder drumpad. And that's what matches the existing solution in my project. And to make sure that you've got a an appropriate folder location here for yours. Let's hit OK. And in just a couple of seconds, we'll have our WPF application, which is exactly that. Just a regular old WPF Windows app, not connected to Xamarin Forms yet. So let's fix that. First thing we need to do is add the Xamarin Forms NuGet package. I'm going to right click on the new project, select Manage NuGet Packages. And it's a little bit different for WPF. We need to actually add two packages. First is our traditional Xamarin Forms package. Let's find that. Now notice I have include pre-release. At the time of recording, WPF support is in preview. And so I'm installing the latest Xamarin Forms 3.0 preview. That's pre-3 right now. And we'll hit install. In the future, this will be in the stable NuGet package and you won't need to select the pre-release options. We'll inspect our license agreement and let that install. Now we're gonna add the second NuGet package. So this is Xamarin Forms, and we're gonna search for WPF. That's the easy way to remember it. We're looking for Xamarin Forms Platform WPF. Notice also pre-release, and notice the version number matches. That's fairly important. This must match the version of Xamarin Forms you're installing. And we'll get that added. Again, accept our license agreement. Now we have the Xamarin Forms NuGet package installed in all of the projects in our solution. And if we are sharing our code in a shared project, we might be able to get away with having the pre-release version in our WPF app and not in the others, although it's always a good idea to keep those in sync. But because we're using a compiled library, in this case a PCL, we must have Xamarin Forms in sync. So I'm gonna right click on the solution, manage NuGet packages, 
and notice consolidate here. It's not, it's not happy because our Xamarin form versions aren't all in sync. Let's get this all caught up. I'm gonna select all of them and hit install. Now I've jumped ahead, so you do need to watch all those packages getting installed. But if we go to our install tab and we scroll down, we'll see Xamarin forms and we're all on the same version. Now is a good time to inspect the other packages installed. And if you have any packages that should be installed in all of your head projects, you'll want to catch up your WPF project as well. So in this case, I'm using a plugin to do audio playback. And you'll notice that it's not installed in our WPF project. And I've actually got an update to install as well. Let's go to our pre-release here. I happen to know that the new version 1.2.1 is compatible. So we'll hit the install button and let that install as well. And now we're ready to update our WPF project to use our Xamarin Forms shared UI definition to display its UI. So let's switch over to our project. I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna set this as our startup project. We'll be running it shortly. And we'll make some updates in the main window class, starting with mainwindow.xaml.cs. The first thing I like to do is delete all of these using statements because we don't need them. Uh, not required, of course. And we're gonna add a new one. We're gonna add using Xamarin Forms platform WPF. And you could optionally add using Xamarin Forms here as well. The next thing we're going to do is change our derived type. So the class that main window is driving from. And we actually have a custom forms type. This is forms application page. Now the reason we do this, I believe, is so the Xamarin Forms package, Xamarin Forms code is able to intercept the lifecycle events, and that's so we're able to use those in our application class in our shared code. So with that done, we have a couple of lines to add. We're going to make a couple of calls. The first is going to be to Xamarin Forms init. So if you didn't have the using Xamarin Forms namespace, you would go Xamarin Forms Forms init. And this is initializing Xamarin Forms in our WPF project, so it's able to turn our shared UI definition into native WPF. Uh, controls and types. And then we're going to tell it where to get that shared UI definition. We do that by calling load application. And then this comes over from our shared code. This is in drumpad. And it'll be the app class. Now notice it can't find drumpad. That's because I need to do one more step. I need to add a reference to our shared code from our WPF application. And to do that, I'm just going to right click, add reference, and just check drum pad. And we'll hit OK, and the IntelliSense will catch up here. And it looks like I need a capital P, that's the, the namespace on the type. And there we go, and that should be happy. And then we need to, of course, instantiate an instance of the app class, and there we go. Now we've updated our XAML.cs. We also need to update our XAML. Remember, of course, that our .cs and our XAML files are really partial class definitions. We see the partial keyword here. And so we have to keep the types in sync. Switch over to our XAML. And the very first thing we're going to do is add a new XAML namespace, XML NS. And we're going to call this one WPF, CLR namespace. This is going to be Xamarin Forms Platform WPF. And if I hit tab, this should fill it in for us. Perfect. Assembly equals Xamarin Forms Platform WPF. What this is going to give us access to is that Forms Application Page type that we just used. WPF and Forms Application Page. Let's just open this up. If we scroll down, you'll see it updated the closing tag for us as well. Now, we don't need any of the default UI definition. I'll delete that grid. We don't really need the default window size, although you can leave that in place. And we do want to set a meaningful title. Let's call this drum pad. And you can do other things here, like set your window state, uh, which should be normal by default. We could do that just to ensure it. Let's say window state normal. And we're ready to run our WPF head project. It's selected as our startup. Let's hit the start or run button. And here we see our drumpad UI running as a WPF app. We have all of our UI elements, our buttons are clickable, and we're getting audio. 
Now, don't forget to add any resources you might need for your platform specific projects, any images, any fonts, any audio files, for example. In this case, we're loading the audio files from the shared library, from the portable class library, which is why everything is working here. And again, remember, it is still preview. I've had very good luck with it. Uh, you know, if you're going to release it, make sure you test very, very carefully or wait for it to be uh, final in the stable channel. Uh, thank you very much. And now you know how to add a WPF project to your Xamarin Forms solution.